Dr. Katie here from Cornerstone Health. One part about recovering from sciatic nerve pain um, comes with the sciatic nerve glide that you've been probably doing watching our videos. Now it's time to retrain your body onto those fearful movement patterns that may have caused your pain. One of those being bending forward to pick something up. How do we train ourselves to bend, not from the back, but at the hips? We do that with a hip hinge. So we're going to start with our feet planted right underneath us and using this foam roller to sort of as our guide on how to bend. So we want to get the motion from our hips sending back, creating stretch down our hamstrings as our chest stays upright and moves forward. It will look like this. Hips sink back, chest stays forward, lumbar spine is neutral. You'll feel a tension or a pull in the back of your hamstrings and you use that to drive forward. When you've made great progress with the foam roller, here's how to progress it. We'll grab a kettlebell at a weight that's decent for you. You'll, you'll still use the same motion of bending forward without losing the lumbar spine, and you'll drive through the feet to come forward. So hips go back, start to feel a tension in the hamstrings, belly breathe, drive the hips forward by pulling the heels back to send the weight up. And that's your RDL.